the arid and impoverished Ethiopia-Somali region is home to nomadic herders. They have survived in harsh conditions for generations, but for the first time, they are facing an uncertain future. Years of consecutive drought have caused most, if not all, of their camels, sheep, and goats to die, and with them, their livelihoods. Changing climate conditions have brought many to the edge of desperation. If that were not enough, lack of clean water and food shortages have exacerbated their woes. Life has become a constant battle to stave off malnutrition and diseases. Ethiopia and Somalia region and held in the state. And in the last year, especially 2017, we had a very serious and ADVD outbreak in the region, which really affected almost all of the zones in the region. The ADVD started initially from Jijiga, and then step by step, it's just um, spread all over the region. The situation was very, um, we were very emotional, it was, we were very upset. There was confusion, there, there was terror again, and we were really in a panic situation. that the majority of cases in 2017 were in the Somali region with 35,000 cases. However, we also had outbreaks in other parts of the country. We had it in Oromia, we had it in Amhara. Amhara, again, often has outbreaks because of water and sanitation issues. The total cases that were recorded in 2017 were 48,718 cases. As AWD cases mounted in Jijiga, the capital city of Ethiopia, Somali region, with an estimated population of 5 million, the federal government decided to send more health workers to the front lines of the outbreak from other regions to contain the disease. The UN and the international community quickly called for a public health emergency response. The outbreak of acute watery diarrhea took, took us all by surprise in terms of how quickly it spread and how, uh, how overwhelmed the, uh, the services that were available were to actually try and deal with it. It's a very complicated disease to deal with and at one point we were seeing almost 500 new cases per day. So the need to be able to be reactive was, uh, was very much there and, and to work together with with government, but also different humanitarian partners in the, the health sector, in the water sector, making sure that there was safe access to, to drinking water and there was appropriate sanitation. So coordination was obviously one of the biggest challenges we had. UNOPS as a solution provider stepped forward to fill critical gaps in human resources and logistical support and came up with a concept to help UN agencies and the government. UNOPS's particular role was to address the operational challenge that the humanitarian group faced on the ground, particularly in paying on time in the remotest parts of the country, the health professionals, uh, their per time on time, uh, or to reach out uh, to different remote locations for the health professionals using uh, an efficient system of transportation. The communities in the Ethiopia-Somali region are scattered in remote corners. The terrain makes it very difficult to reach them, to deliver medicines and avert new cases. For the UN and the health community, it was a race against time. UNOPS partnered with Hashad Car Rental, a local enterprise in the Ethiopia Somali region. Provide a SUV with no light vehicles. ለሁሉም UNOP 
talks came in at a very critical moment. Partners like UNICEF were struggling with providing supplies, um, medical kits, um, and even to some extent uh, logistical support. It was not enough. But uh, UNOPS came in and provided uh, additional logistical support, moving um, humanitarian uh, supplies from one point to the other, especially from Jijiga to the, uh, the interior of uh, Somali region. If we didn't have support from UNOPS, maybe we would not have reached as many um, women and children. To attract and retain qualified health workers and send them to hotspot areas with no living facilities or reliable payment systems posed a huge challenge. In some places, the communities had not seen a doctor in over 20 years. The health workers are scattered or assigned into different areas where there is no bank. We are just operating 72 sites. So it's difficult to, to, reach, to reach them and pay them through a bank or as well as to pay through a cashier. UNOB support started you know, to pay the health workers through phone by having a contract with HelloCash in Addis. Uba Ahmed Hassan, a survivor lives with her nine children in Degahabra village, 200 kilometers from Jijiga. She runs a tea shop to earn enough to feed her children. Dadku aad u rafaadsanaayeen markaan u meesha tagnay waxaan u tagnay dadkii oo sidoo u dhimanaya oo sidoo u rafaadsan hooyooyinkii iyo iyaalkii laakiin markaan u anagu tagnay wax baan u ka qabanay aad bay noo maatantay hay'adda iyo anabs dadku ay mik aad bay wada fiicayeen caruurtii iskoolada ka wada joogtay mik iskoolada bay wada dhigtaan dadkii shaqada ay maxay ka wada joogsada xanuunada ay ka joojiyeen imka shaqadoodu bay wada wataan ee maxaan ku raadaay aad ba loo wada fiicayeen mik waxbarashadu dadku si fiican bay ugu socota ee maadaama xanuunkii badnaa laga raystay hay'adda iyo anabs ayaa aad uga qayb qaadatay dhibaatadii deegaanka ka dhacday marka hore soo waxaan ka bartay koob nadaafadda sidii maxay ahayd nadaafadda loo ilaalin laha biyaha aan cabno oo maxay ahayd kanin loo aan ku ridaynay ee nadaafadda xaafadda oo kor u qaadno suuliyadu aan iska hagaajino farxal maxay ahayd markii walbaba aan farxalnayno sidii aan u dhaqan dhaqmi lahayn weelka aan isaga dhaqayno qashinka aan isaga gubino xayaalo badan baan ka baran The project was really very significant, uh, not only in the ADVD in control, but also making sure that the system post ADVD recovery is being prepared. Now we are in the recovery stage. We have managed again to control the disease in general very, uh, very shortly. I was very appreciated and very interested on the support that we had from our partners. I want to thank again to UNOPS. Collaboration with UNOPS represents a new way of working. It's actually been a model that we're going to be using for this year as well. We're supporting the rapid response teams so that once we identify any potential cases this year, we can work with the Regional Health Bureau to respond quickly to any outbreaks. So the model that UNOPS developed last year is one that we plan to adopt this year as well. Effective coordination and timely response saved hundreds and thousands of lives. The heroic health workers alleviated pain and suffering and brought the disease under control quickly. Against great odds, the UN agencies collectively delivered as one in health emergency response. Absolutely. I mean, I think it's, uh, it's a project that's, that's clearly delivered uh, in line with all of the expectations we had. Um, and the project also allowed us to, to look at issues around uh, the high levels of malnutrition and other disease outbreaks that were taking place um, in, not just in, in Somali region, but also in, in Oromia and Amhara. It's definitely a model that's worked well. 
uh, and we're certainly interested to try and see supported again and actually have it um, as part of the, the regular operating model we use in, in humanitarian response. I think our, our contribution to this humanitarian response, particularly to the AWD, was because of our capacity in procurement, our capacity in HR management and HR management systems that we have, our capacity in project management using uh, the project management methodologies and tools because of that string that we have as an organization.